Hello and welcome to another Imminent Collections video, a series where I kind of go through the old stuff that I had as a kid and I haven't seen in years and take a look at them with, with you guys. And today I have something a little bit special, you can probably tell from the thumbnail actually, but I have this massive bag, it's not even getting in on screen fully, of... Uh, it should be shoes, obviously, as it looks like from Shoe Zone. I think it's still going. It's a UK shoe shop. Um, but no, in fact, in there is a bunch of large Pokemon figures. So, for context, these came out during the first generation of Pokemon. These are kind of like hollow figures. Actually, you know what? I'll grab an example. There we go. So, we've got a Bulbasaur, who I've had on my desk for quite a few years now. Actually, kind of forgetting I've got the rest of them. But these are kind of like hollow-ish vinyl figures. There's not much weight to them. They sound kind of hollow. Um, and underneath, you can tell they are made in China. 1995 is the copyright. And there's CGTSJ. I don't know exactly what that means. I, I did a bit of a Google search, but... The only real results I found were for, like, the smaller Tommy figures as well. So I think that's just what they wrote on, like, the bottom of any early Tommy Pokemon figure, probably. And just to show you guys why I've titled this video as the large Tommy figures, I will show you guys the regular kind of Pokemon figures you'd see in most stores. Hey, there we go. There's an old Pikachu figure. This again is a Tomy. Um, I think this is made like a few years later. This is a more quote unquote modern one. I think this may have come out during like Gen 2 or something. But you know, just for scale, you can tell these are like, these are pretty big ones. Um, and they've also got a little bit of articulation, which is another thing we'll go into in a little bit. Anyway, let's move Pikachu back to the side. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of fill up the background with these Pokemon. Uh, we're going to take a look at each of them in turn. Now, part of the reason I want to do this is I only remember about three or four of them, uh, not including Bulbasaur. So, I, you know, I want to take a look at those as well, but I want to see, like, the other ones that I've forgotten about. So, as I mentioned, these are all poseable. Now, Bulbasaur, obviously, I, I say they're poseable, they're, like, slightly articulated. As you can see, there's a joint there. You can move his head uh, from side to side. Kind of, he's a bit of a curious boy. I usually have him like that. Because that is it's quite cute. It makes it look a bit more animated than just stock. Also, I believe, yeah, his bulb rotates. <laughs> well, can, can you tell the difference? It's so strange. But there we go. So actually, that's a little bit too tilted for my liking. There we go. Look at that. We'll put him at the back there. And I'm just going to grab randomly from this bag. So... It could be anything. Now, I don't know if they're all the vinyl figures. Some of these might just be random large Pokemon figures I put in with them, so we'll see. But next up is everybody's favourite Eeveelution starter, Eevee. Now, for those of you with a keen eye, you might notice that Eevee's actually a little bit darker than uh, you'd usually see it, him, her. And um, that's because like, they changed the colours over the years. I don't exactly know why, but this is like early Eevee. This is sort of like the, the initial Gen 1 Eevee. Again, she's got like printing underneath. I'm going to say she because Eevee's kind of feminine. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I believe... Yeah, there we go. So, <laughs> so these have been moved so little over the years that uh, it's going to sound like they're cracking, but it, it's, it's just vinyl is how it is. So there's Eevee, it's, uh, its head can move, also very, very cute with the like, the mouth open and stuff. There we are, and I think, I want to say the tail, yeah, there we are. So technically you can have Eevee like doing a pose it never does, that just looks weird, but you know. But it, honestly it is kind of cool, because look, there we are, it's kind of like wagging its tail a little bit. So we'll put that there. Next up, uh, ooh. Right, this is one I kind of remember, so I can tell by feel. Um, obviously, because he's a big, chunky boy, and that is everybody's favourite egg baby thing, Togepi. And honestly, like, looking looking at these now, I'm actually quite impressed how well these have kept up, because they've literally been in this carrier bag um, 
probably since the early 2000s at the bottom of a um, cupboard. So it's not like they've been kept in particularly great condition. Oh, I think... Oh, wait, no. I was going to say, I think that's a bit of a mark, but that might just be part of the egg design, right? Or maybe it is a mark, actually. I can't quite tell. But either way, actually, no, the little... The little spot where it might be a mark. Either way, though, she's in pretty good condition. Again, she, I don't know. Now, I think with this one, the arms kind of, hmm. Well, maybe they don't. No, maybe. Oh, wait, that definitely does. Is this just being weirdly stiff? Or oh, hang on. Okay, it's not looking like that one moves at all, but the feet, oh, yeah, the feet move a little bit. But to be honest, the way that Togepi is, I wouldn't want to move the feet very much because it strikes me as the type, yeah, see, it kind of rocks already. Uh, there we are, we'll leave, we will leave Togepi there. Um, now, scale-wise, I don't think this really matches up. I know Togepi isn't bigger than Bulbasaur. That doesn't really make sense, but uh, I mean, they've all got to be uniform size, I suppose. Aha, next up, hey. Oh, uh, hey, there we go, is everyone's favourite little Gen 1 mythical creature, Mew. Unless your favourite's Mew too, in which case it's it's not your favourite. Now, these figures came in packs of two or three, I distinctly remember. Um, they were quite big, obviously, because they're big figures. They were like red, red packaging with blue background. I want to say Mew came with Bulbasaur, I think, because he was like the first and last of the Pokedex. Maybe that was the theme he was going for. Unless I'm wrong, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Mew came with Bulbasaur. Um, but yeah, so the tail kind of moves, but again, it's vinyls. Oh, wait, hang on. No, it doesn't rotate. Okay, so it's kind of stuck in that pose, but eh, whatever. It's, it's still cute, so can move its head. Very nice. Can you move? You can't move its arms, but you can move it. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, good lord. Yes. Okay, you can do the, like, sitting pose. That's for, I think I might leave it like that, actually. That's, uh, that looks a lot cuter than, like, standing up. Also, its eyes are super blue for some reason, which is strange, but okay. Let's put Let's put Mew in the back there, because it's a bit of a mysterious Pokemon, isn't it? On to the... Ah! Okay, so I'm going to title this video like Large Pokemon Figures in general, because this was one of the action uh, figures. So if you press its feet down, his arms go forward, and I believe he came with like a toy boulder, which I definitely still have somewhere, but not in this bag, I don't think. Um, so I believe I have another, another Pokemon in this line as well. So this came out later. This is like 2003, 2004 probably. But I bought it because I didn't have a Graveler figure and I really like Graveler so I was like, I, I am going to get this for sure. Um, so I'm going to put him off to the side because he's not really a vinyl figure but, um, you know, he still is a big boy. I kind of wish you could just leave him in that pose, because I, I, that's a really cool pose. Um, maybe I'll try and work out a way to do that, but I suppose if not... Oh, so, sorry, Evie. Sorry, Evie's looking quite uh, shocked there. Right, I'm just like grabbing them off camera. Aha! The next... Ooh, okay. Good Lord, its feet are... Are they... Are they warped over the years? Is this the first warped Pokemon figure I have? I don't know. Kind, okay, that kind of works, I guess. It's, hmm. Okay, well, we'll leave him with that for now. It is, of course, Team Rocket's trusty feline companion, Meowth. He's still very, uh, I don't know, maybe this is just a badly made figure or something. All the rest are fine. Um, so again, the Pokemon has kind of changed over the years. He does look a bit dupier than like his current look, if that makes sense. But he is still pretty charming. He's he looks a bit chibi, actually. I think have they made him taller over the years, possibly. 
Uh, so, his head moves, obviously, as do his arms. You can make him... Ha hang on. You can make him do the tough guy pose, um, which is very strange for a cat. You, you want it to be doing the, like, yeah pose there, and I believe his tail... Yeah, his tail rotates as well. Uh, hang on. Ugh. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not digging this one as much just because of the feet. It feels like... Yeah, it feels like they're a little bit off, but, uh, you know, whatever. Let's put him at the back. Now, there's there's one obvious one I'm thinking of, and there's another one I remember. Ooh! Okay! Now, I wasn't sure if I actually got Charmander. Um, as I say, I bought these when I was like... 8 or 9, I think, or maybe 10 at a push. So, I don't really remember many of them. There's only one more I remember owning. Well, actually, two, because there's obviously a Pikachu. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. So, there's, uh, there's Charmander, everyone's favourite. Fire Lizard from Gen 1, apart from Charmeleon and Charizard, if those are your favourite. But yeah, he's in his kind of, like, um, you know, standard pose. Now, he looks a little bit different to current Charmander as well. I think they've done something to his eyes or his face, maybe? Or they've they've thinned him a bit. He's not as chunky, I think. And I think maybe he's a bit darker. I think, uh, you know, his, like, modern things is a little bit lighter. But his arms move up and down. Very nice. Uh, his feet... Oh! I wonder, can we do a sitting pose for Charmander? We can! Hey, I mean, it doesn't look quite right because his tail is kind of propping him up. But, you know, the the option is there. So, And his tail does move. Uh, I'm not going to do all the range of motion, but, you know, you kind of want it to line up, don't you? There we are. That looks around about right. Hey. And if we put Mew further back, we can put him next <sighs> next to his buddy. Okay, sorry, Togepi. There we go. Right, next up. Hey! I don't remember this at all, actually. Um, we have Psyduck. Very cool. So, uh, his tail... Oh, okay, his tail is solid, actually, as are his feet, I hope. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, actually, his head can can move. Very nice. And I believe his arms can as well, which is strange. He can look like a sort of a sheriff or a deputy, but to have a gunfight, I suppose. But, yeah, that's a little bit weird as well. Um, you know, you, you want his hands to be up in the side of pose, don't you? Maybe to the side there. There we go. Cool. Uh, we'll put him there for now. Whilst we grab... Aha! This is the one I remember. We have Jigglypuff. Who... I always remember being like... I don't... I think it came in a two-pack with the Pokemon I wanted. Because I was never a big fan of Jigglypuff as a kid. Um, <clears throat> and... Same for these days, really. But, yeah... There we go. It, she, she's she's a round, a round ball Pokemon. I think the feet move, which is cool, uh, and the hands move, which which is cool as well. Um, I guess it goes. So that kind of feels natural, like it's got a groove that it like goes into. So yeah, I guess that's. Uh... Also, the eyes are a bit different. I think maybe they became bluer over time, maybe? Or, or or it's just very green or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to put Jigglypuff there. Uh, the thumbnail will be looking better than this, hopefully. Ooh. We've got... <laughs> okay, ma'am. Ma young me really did put anything into here. We've got a a Pokeball, which I remember... I think you put a po uh, like a figure in here, because you, you hit that red thing. Oof. Good lord. Uh, and it closes. And it's like, yeah, I caught a Pokemon. I don't know why I bought this. I was never one to, like, play. Like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I caught a Pokemon? Um, so I don't know why I have that, but I do. Next up. Hey, there we go. The go oh, wow. 
Pikachu's changed, man. Also, slightly... I don't know what's happening to this one, but... Scuffed. Scuffed a little bit. This is a... The worst condition one so far. Uh, ooh. Ooh, and his tail's gone a little bit. It's not sticky per se, but like it's made out of something different. You can see how like shiny that plastic is. Why didn't they mold like? Why didn't they mold a vinyl tail? That's so because like that that looks completely different. That looks fake. Um, so I want to say I think Pikachu came with Meowth in the double pack. I think so. That's interesting. He is a chunky boy compared to his recent like. Thinning, uh, he looks very different. I mean, he's still Pikachu, but you know, uh, the feet are molded, the tail moves. Yeah, that's a weird tail, man. Uh, it's not. That's not a good-looking Pikachu. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's pretty derpy. Um, but I'll put him there for now. Again, I I will sort this out to look better. It. Yo! Okay, so next up, let's bring back Pikachu for a second. We have the smaller scale stuff. We have Ash Ketchum, his, uh, Ash Ketchum himself. Ooh, that face is not great. That is, um... Actually, no, no, you, you know what? It's not too bad. Yeah, okay, there we are. Well, we have Ash. No. I remember buying this figure years ago because I was like, yo, a figure of a trainer, let's go, because you could only ever get Pokemon. Now, let's go through this Ash figure. So, he's, you know, his face is fine. It's not like high quality, but... Now, one thing is... Oh, wait. <gasps> no, you can! Yes! Okay, cool. Right. No. No, it's on. Um... So, you know, I mean, it, I like that the jacket is flowing a little bit. It kind of allows for more room. The arm always drove me crazy because that's all you can do. Hey, I'm going to underarm throw this Pokeball, I guess, maybe. And, like, this arm. Like, why didn't they have joints here? Like, why is it held like this and not, like, up, like there or something? It's weird. And then his legs, though, are, like... Very pausable, really. Like, look at that. That's... You can... <laughs> it looks like he's about to, like, punt Pikachu. And then, like, Pikachu would disappear. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, there we go. Um, and I guess he, like, stands... Cool. There we go. We... Oh my god, that is terrifying. That looks like he's been trapped in, like, a world of Pokemon mascots. Uh, right, now, ooh, okay, Ash, no, you stay there. Yo, we've got, we've got him, we've got that boy, uh, we've got Mewtwo, who also has kind of changed over the years, as you can, sorry, Pikachu, as you can kind of see, I mean, he's not, like, completely different, but, you know, you can definitely tell he's, like, he's had a bit of a incooling over the years, so... Is that? Oh my god, that arm doesn't move. Does that arm move? That arm does What? The arms don't move. They really don't. There's no... Wait, hang on. Alright, I'm giving it a go, but no, I think these are stationary. They've got cut lines around them, but like... I don't know, that's kind of weird. No, this was the original, like, pose of Mewtwo. You'd see him with, like, his arm up and stuff. Um, didn't translate amazingly to this figure, but it's not bad, I guess. Uh, let's see. Okay, so his head... <laughs> Ooh, that's weird. So his head does move, right? But the back of it has this weird thing there that, like, his tube's meant to attach into, but... His tube never does attach into it, if that makes sense. Like, it, it's just moulded, it's slightly short of. That's strange. I mean, it, it's kind of cool, because I, I really like Mewtwo. I mean, you can have him... You can have him sitting down. He looks a bit like a yoga kind of Pokemon there, doesn't he? Just, like, chilling. Well, there we go. So we got a Mewtwo. This must have come in with the Mew, I imagine. Uh, we'll put him... God, we're really running out of room now, aren't we? 
Uh, we'll also put him... Yeah, there we are. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're all falling. Hang on. Hey, there we go. I've, I've heightened the camera a little bit as well. So, we're getting near the end. Oh, I forgot about this. Right, you hear that off screen. Here's a... Here's a Lickitung ball. So, these are bouncy balls where if you hit them... Oh, yo, hang on. Ah, there we are. That's Licky Tongue's voice. Cool. And then it's back to that again. Cool. So, yeah, these are like bouncy balls, and I'm worried about the battery now. Uh, I mean, it works. I I've literally I've literally not been in this, this bag for about 20 years um, or so, maybe just under. Now, it's a bit uncomfortable. It looks like that new Kirby game where like he swallows like a car, but it it just looks like he's his body's been draped over it. But I mean it's it's kind of cute. I, I really liked Lickitung as a kid. I still do. Um Do these bounce well? Oh wow. They don't bounce well and they're very hard on the back. That's like hard plastic. Okay, that's a strange one. Let's put uh okay, I'm gonna, eh, I'm gonna try and move some of these things back in a second. But first let's take a look. Ooh, there we are. So I've got the second battling Pokemon. Oh dear. Ah hmm. Oh, wait. Ah, okay, no, it's fine. Right, so Nidorino. His battle move is ho uh, like horn drill, I think that is. Um, yeah, so this is another like figure I saw. There's like, wait, that's a Nidorino? I've never seen a Nidorino figure before, and I really like Nidorino's design. It's like it's like a rock rabbit. So, uh, yeah, so I don't know if these came in a two-pack or it's just the fact that these are the two I really liked. Again, I was so young that I just, I don't remember buying, like, half of these now. I'm going to change angle again for a second to BRB. All right, there we go. That's a bit better. I mean, we were near in the end, but we still got quite a few to go. Oh, you! Okay, these are here as well. Now, two seconds. Now, this figure kind of still works. Hang on. Right, this figure kind of works. But if you make a noise. It kind of makes a sound. I'm going to turn her off for now. So these were a bunch of electronic uh, Pokemon figures. The rest must be here as well then. And they all had gimmicks. Now, he's got a tail somewhere. For some reason, the tail could come off. But. This was a sound-activated Meowth figure, the, like, if you spoke loudly, he'd, you know, make a sound. That It's actually a pretty good-looking figure, so it's not pausable at all. I think it's literally a hunk of plastic, but his his whiskers are huge. Good lord. Um, but, yeah, so that's, that's something. I think we've got a couple of these coming up then. We've got... I'm not going to pretend I know what this is. Um, I want to say I bought this for car boot sale as a kid, I think. It must have been some like battle arena kind of thing. Um, I don't know what it does. I think I just saw it because it's like, that's a Geodude. I don't have a Geodude figure. Um, his arms aren't pausable, but yeah, there you go. There's a Geodude. His name is Geodude. Ah. Hang on, that's got a button on it, so that probably did something, like say his name or something. I bet, if if I was a betting man, I am not. I am just a collecting man. Uh, we've got... Oh, oh. I'm showing you all the stuff today. We have a custom painted Plaster of Paris Bulbasaur. So I had a set. I still have the set, actually. It's, um, there were some, like, uh, silicone moulds that you'd put plaster of Paris in and they'd leave it set and then you'd paint it. And as a kid, I was like, 
Well, blue Bulbasaur, the green bulb is boring. What if I did the other way? Um, and obviously, I wasn't a very patient child, so I think I painted it once and just kind of left it and was like, yeah, whatever. But I think it had like Charmander and Bulbasaur and Pikachu as well. I think those are the three things. So that's like a terrifying monument. And I'm, I'm impressed the paint has even lasted this long. Uh, next up, okay, is Bulbasaur. I did quite like Bulbasaur as a kid. Uh, I, I liked all of the starters. Now, uh, give me a second. Okay, I don't remember his gimmick, but his head moves. So maybe it like moves and then it says his name out of the speaker there or something. I really like this mould. This is actually, uh, it proper makes him look a bit like a frog kind of stuff. And yeah, the, the tip on his bulb is a bit weird. I don't know why it's so light, but and he's really dark as well. But there you go, that's a, that's a bulb. So actually, I'm going to turn him off just in case. So some of these, I remember, because these are really weird battery sizes. Um, they were like double C cell or something. Uh, ooh, okay. Now, man, I really put just everything into here, apparently. So, we've got a very cute Chansey plush. Oh, look, it's a Chansey. That's really cool. Man, I wish, though, there's some way that I could, like, carry it around as if it was in a Pokeball. <gasps> Wait! Stuff, stuff all of Chansey's insides in there. And, and zip it up. And zip, and zip it... <sighs> Yeah, look at that. What? Where's, where's Chansey gone? Is it, it's a Pokeball now. Look at that. It's, uh, yeah, I really liked this as a kid. Uh, I've got a couple of them. They're hopefully all in the bag. But it'd be like, you'd carry it round as if, like, you had the Pokemon Pokeball. And then, uh, look, Chansey has emerged from the Pokeball. Um, don't, don't consider the implications of, you know, how you're just pushing it back into its Pokeball and crushing it to make it you know, work, but wherever. Uh, right, man, we've got a variety going on today. Hey, We've got Charmander, very cute. Um, so this, I'm 99% sure, uh, if you like turned it on. I think this is another one I never got batteries for because like, why would you? Um, again, because they were very difficult to, I, I'm sure I could buy them online. If I do, I could make a follow-up video or a post on social media or something, but, this, um, I don't know how you activated it, but his flame would light up, basically, which isn't the craziest play feature, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, he, he's cool, he's, he's Charmander, you know. Uh, hey, we've got another one, Geodude, another rubber ball kind of thing. Does he work? Whoa! Oh, he does, and that's load. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Gotta catch them all. Thanks, Ash. Uh, what about a musical sting from the show? Hey, and then back to. Nice. I'm so happy these still work. That's. Wow, I really liked your dude as a kid as well, because he was so like simple and stuff. And this guy. There we go. Let's not move him in. Ah, whatever. Oh, yo, okay, cool, we got it, Oh, Now, we've got Brock from the same line as Ash with his fucking backpack. This might unironically actually be worth some money now because uh, were there many Brock figures? Did they produce many Brocks? I don't imagine he was super popular with the kids, but, uh, but yeah, again, I saw this set and was like, Yes, please. So he can put his hand up. Stop! You have violated the law! And I mean, technically in the anime, I'm sure he did as well several times, but let's not discuss that. And again, his Pokeball is stuck. It's a better pose than Ash, but like, it still looks like he's going to throw it behind him or up or something, but... And then, much like... Well, actually, no. Better than Ash. He, uh, you know, he's got arm thing and he's got leg sort of like uh, articulation, which always confused me because it's like the Pokemon characters aren't the type that, I mean, you could have them in like running poses, I guess, maybe. Oh no, let's go catch uh, Vulpix or something. But 
Yeah, it's it's weird. They're really articulated from the waist down, but up. It's like, nah, you've got like three points of articulation. Uh, yeah, so that's Brock. He doesn't look amazing, but I mean, he looks as good as you would expect from like a figure in... What is up with his leg? Okay, he's got to go back. If you put it on the same level, he can have like leans. That's weird. Cool. Well, there you go. There's Brock. He's blocking out someone, but you know we we don't have a hey, we don't have much left now. Here is O C Pikachu. This is this is the chunky boy himself. So I want to say, uh, does wait does he even have an on switch? Yeah, he, wait, hang on. This one doesn't have an on switch, and you're probably thinking, no, oh, that sucks. He doesn't do anything. But wait. That's right, you make your own switch. Those are contacts. When you touch them with your fingers, you you close the circuit, basically. Um, this was really cool. I remember actually quite liking this, because it was like, wait, I'll never need battery. Well, I mean, there probably is a battery in there, but I'll never need to, like, turn it on or worry about it running out of batteries, because if I if it is, then I'll just change it. But yeah, this, this is really cool. I mean, I, I do like sort of classic looking Pikachu. There's just something about it that's nostalgic. Yeah, he's, he's very cute. We're near the bottom now. I can see the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a Squirtle Christmas tree ornament. That's about it. He's, he's very rubbery. Um, he looks pretty good, actually. He could do with a bit of a wash, you know, like a, a, a bit of a, like, moist towel over him. But, yeah, otherwise he's, he's a rubbery piece of squirtle, really. I don't know why I never got a big squirtle. Maybe I just never saw them in the shops. It must, because, like, I really like, I mean, I liked all of the starters. So it's strange I never bought the squirtle set, but, I don't know, maybe just it wasn't there. <laughs> Okay, I don't remember this one. We've also got a Pikachu Christmas tree decoration. Yeah. So um, yet again, a bit of bit of rubber, basically hard bit of rubber. His tail tail's warped a little bit, but you know, I mean, it's literally the same mould. Just like he doesn't have a white bit of on his face. But, I mean, these these are pretty nice because they're just like Christmas tree. Well, I mean, they don't have to be Christmas tree, I guess. You could put them anywhere, but I'm pretty sure they were, like, advertised. Oh, there's Christmas tree ornaments. And we found the last one. We found her, boys. Misty. Now, let's take a look. So she's a little bit dusty. I should have dusted these, but if I dusted them, I'd have no one was in here and they wouldn't be as much of a surprise. So we'll take a quick look at Misty. There she is in all her statue glory. And I say statue because... Um, She's not, there's no, she can't move. Uh, she's just a bit of rubber or plastic. I never, I mean, I think, I guess, because she's so thin that they're like, well, we can make her articulated, but she's going to break easily or whatever. Um, but instead, she just topples over really. Good Lord. She actually can't stand. I'm going to need, like, blue tack or something. Or she's going to have to lie down for now then. All right. Thanks, Misty. Good one. Um, no, oh, we got another one of these. So we've got... We've got two now. Aha. Cool. And they both turn into Pokeballs. Cool. Okay, then. And I think there's, like, one thing, two things left. Aha! We've got a Tangular. Look at that. No. Tangular, I actually bought a couple of years ago because I saw this in a shop somewhere. Uh, it's like a gaming shop in a local town. And I was like, I had one of these when I was younger, right? And I couldn't remember what it was, but hang on. Whoa, okay, these are, these are way loud. Like, they are very loud. Hang on. Gotta catch them all. Good, and then. I wonder if they replaced the batteries on this one, because that's that's a lot lower than the other two. Or maybe they just never use these as much. But yeah, 
That's... I, I really like Tangela as well. I mean, I like all of these Pokémon, as you can tell. Uh, and there's one last... <laughs> Save the best for last. I'm going to have to drop it down a little bit here. So, we have... Diggler! Yay! Which, again, I think I bought at, like, a shop about ten years ago or something. Because uh, I, I, I rarely see Diggler merch. But Diglett is a spinner from Burger King. Now, back in the day, the kids' meals in Burger King had various types of Pokemon figures. Um, there was, like I said, like 48 or something, and like every eight different groups of different things. And there were eight spinners. Now, these never worked. They never spun. Like, that's a bit worse for where I need to clean it up and everything. Like, that spins for a while, right? But, like, not the figure. I mean, it's just breakdancing Diglett. Look at him. Look at him go. Yeah, B-boy Diglett. Coming at you live. You know, steal your girl. As long as she's not passed out behind Tangela there. So, yeah, um... Right, I'm going to go and sort these now into like the groups of toys they are, and then we'll finish. Uh, so BRB. Alright, they won't really all fit into frame all in one. So we're just going to take a very quick look. So these are all my like big vinyl figures. Um, if anyone knows the exact name of the set or whatever, like, let me know. They definitely came in two packs or three packs, I can't quite remember. Um, and yeah, it might have been like battle packs or something like that, but yeah. That's all of them there looking very cute. On to the next type. Actually, you know what? They do kind of all fit. And this is going to be how I do the thumbnail as well. So these are all the four electronic ones. Now, I do have two more. I have a Snorlax and a Chansey somewhere. I don't know where they are, though. So that's that's kind of annoying. But I definitely have two more. But yeah, these are the ones. Uh, very cute. Pikachu is definitely my favourite of these. Uh, right, next set. Hey, we've got the balls. Uh, what to say about that? Honestly, God, these are hard to sort of sort like that. But you know, they they look they look good. Tangular is my favourite, I think. Although Lickitung looks like he is absolutely suffering. All right, next set. Give it on up for the Battley Boys. That's what I'm going to call them. That doesn't make much sense, but yeah, there that's that's them there. Definitely Nidorino, I think, takes it for me of those. Uh, though I really like Graveler's sculpt as well. So next set. Got the Christmas tree ornaments, obviously, because that makes the more sense. Uh, Squirtle is the definitely winner there. It's the miscellaneous stuff, because I I don't know how to categorize them, but Diglett's my favourite because he's just so derpy. And where would the Pokemon journey be without these three journeying around and stuff? And Misty's leaning on the, the cursed uh, Bulbasaur statue. But right, that about wraps everything up. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. It's been a nice trip down memory lane. I do have uh, several more Pokemon figure videos coming up because I've got loads of them. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll leave a playlist for other stuff. Until next time, goodbye.